Hi everyone! Today we're going to be learning about Prunella vulgaris L, otherwise known as Heal All, Wound Wart, Heart of the Earth, and Self Heal. Self Heal is a herbaceous perennial plant that grows to be about 5 to 30 centimeters tall and forms mats. A single plant of this species can live for 3 to 10 years. Additionally, the leaves are edible, but they are kind of bitter due to containing tannins. So the leaves will need to be washed to remove the tannins. And on that note, self-heal can accumulate some harmful chemicals, so plants that grow near roadsides shouldn't be consumed. Now if we take a look at a distribution map of self-heal in North America, we can see that it is present and native to most of North America. However, it was introduced into Hawaii. I do want to mention that self-heal is also native to Eurasia. If you're wanting to add this species to your landscape, it grows best in hardiness zones 4 through 9. Lastly, this species has a tendency to become quite weedy in lawns. Alrighty, when it comes to the natural environment of self-heal, it prefers areas that are moist with light shade to full sun. Examples of habitats that can be found in include forest edges, swamps, and in meadows. Now when it comes to the stem of self-heal, it is square-shaped, which is difficult to see in this photo, but it may also be pubescent. We can also see that the leaves are arranged on the stem in an opposite pattern. Speaking of the leaves, if we look a bit closer at them, we can see that they are simple, entire, and possibly slightly pubescent depending on where you are. Also, the leaves are mostly toothless, but some will be more serrated than others. Self-heal blooms from June through September, and when it does, it produces a spike-like inflorescence of purple and white flowers. Each flower has two lips, the top one looks like a hood, and the bottom lip has three lobes, with the middle lobe being fringed. These flowers are also perfect, so they'll each have four stamen and one pistil. Below our inflorescence, we have two big bracts, which are typically quite pubescent, but the plants I found had bracts that were quite smooth and had very little pubescence on them. Now, when it comes down to the pollinators of self-heal, it attracts many insects such as bees, wasps, flies, and butterflies. After pollination takes place, the calyx will persist and support nutlets that form. The nutlets and calyx will eventually turn brown, and each nutlet will contain one smooth, shiny brown seed. The seeds are released by raindrop ballistics, which means that when it rains, the raindrops will hit the nutlet and the raindrop will make the nutlets release their seed. Now, this may seem pretty awesome, but self-heal reproduces more by its underground stolons than it does through seeds. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about self-heal, otherwise known as Prunella vulgaris with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.